This is the gentleman from TMZ, Mr. Tremaine. Tremaine, Tremaine, not sure how to pronounce it yet, but he'll tell us. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon, Mr. Tremaine. Hello. Tremaine. Would you please state your full name for the record? Morgan Cliff Tremaine. And what do you do for a living? Uh, I produce esports events and design video games. Wow. And in 2016, what did you do for a living? I worked as the field assignment manager at TMZ. What is TMZ? TMZ is an, enter uh, an entertainment news uh, website and television show. And what were your responsibilities as a field assignment manager for TMZ? Uh, I was the go-between the news desk in the office and the reporters in the field, which you might know as paparazzi. Approximately how many paparazzis were you in charge of? Uh, at the time, it was about 20 in L.A., a handful, maybe three in New York, and then one in D.C. And what were your responsibilities specifically as to the paparazzi? It would be to dispatch um, paparazzi to various locations based on tips or um, just direction um, dictated by having a list of sort of hot spots where celebrities would be. And how were those tips received? They were received either through tips that we received through our tip line or directly through um, news producers in the office. And were tips frequently received directly from sources? Um, very often the case, yeah. And who were the type of sources that TMC received tips from? Um, they would receive tips from, oftentimes it would be publicists, managers, agents, or B-list celebrities. Lawyers? And lawyers, definitely. How are tips verified? Tips are verified um, by an extensive process. If they come in through our tip line, we have to verify who sent it, that they um, that the source is truthful, and so they have to uh, add their contact information, which is a field in that um, on that website for like name, uh, phone number, things like that. And how long did that process typically take? If we receive a tip through the tip line. Um, it could take a while because that would need to be, if it was a tip, we would need to verify it. If it was media, such as photos or videos, that would need to be extensively verified to ensure that the person sending it is the copyright holder and that we would have the legal ability to air it and distribute it. And while working for TMZ, were you involved in any assignments related to Ms. Heard? I was. Oof. What was the first time you recall Let's working on go. an assignment related to Ms. Heard? Uh, I believe it was May 27th, 2016. And what was your role in that assignment? For that, it, Ms. Heard was filing a uh, restraining order at a courthouse in downtown Los Angeles. So um, I dispatched camera people to that location. Under what circumstances would you normally send paparazzi to a courthouse? Uh, only if we had been informed prior. It's not by any means a celebrity hotspot. Um, we would only ever send people there if we had been tipped off that something was occurring and there was somebody present there. And what footage was TMZ trying to capture at the L.A. courthouse on May 27th, 2016? We were trying to capture uh, Amber leaving the courthouse and an alleged bruise on the right side of her face. What was your team of paparazzi supposed to do while they were at the L.A. courthouse on May 27th, 2016? Objection, Your Honor. Uh, hearsay and foundation. What were they supposed to do? Right. She's oh. asking for, <laughs> I, I, I don't think there's a foundational I, I, I'll hearsay. overrule the objection at this point. Yeah, let's argue with the judge, oh, Elaine. Nice. Can you uh, state the question again? What was your team of paparazzi supposed to do while they were at the Los Angeles courthouse on May 27th, 2016? Their objective was to capture her leaving the courthouse and then she was going to sort of stop and turn towards the camera to display the bruise on the right side of her face, the alleged bruise. Did your team of videographers get the shot of Amber Heard? We did. What is the difference between receiving a tip from a news producer than any other source? Um, if it's any other source, it would have to be verified um, by copyright. If it was anything that was received um, directly, directly through a news producer, then they go through that process to verify uh, the source.
Did you do anything to verify the tip on May 27th, 2016 related to Amber Heard? I did not. Why not? Um, because it had come directly from a news producer. Does that mean it had been verified? It means that they had verified that tip Ooh. and deemed that it was credible and therefore a camera person needed to be dispatched. After May 27th, 2016, were you involved in any other assignments related to Amber Heard? Yes. Can you tell me about those assignments? Um, the next one would have been August 6th, 2016, where um, she was giving a deposition. So what did you do in relation to that tip? I uh, dispatched camera people to a parking lot adjacent to a law office in which she would be arriving to. So we could get the uh, footage of her arriving for the deposition. Do you typically send paparazzis to parking lots of law offices? No, not at all. Did you get the shot of Ms. Heard on August 6, 2016? We did. After August 6, 2016, Damn. were you involved in any other stories involving Ms. Heard? Yes, I was. And what story was that? Um, on the 12th, we received a video um, depicting um, Johnny Depp um, slamming some cabinets that was captured by Ms. Heard. And what day was that? I believe that was the t August 12th. Of 2016? Of 2016, yes. Damn. Can you describe to the jury how you received the video on August 12, 2016? Oh, yes, the video was sent in through our email tip line, which is uh, an email distribution that goes to all the producers and to myself as the field assignment manager because it often included celebrity locations. The It came in as, as I recall, a... Objection, a just, hearsay. How? He's just describing how it came in. He's, I think he's about to reveal hearsay, Your Honor. Uh, I'll overrule for now. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> Please continue. So I received that email, and it included a link from some unknown Dropbox-type um, uh, public uh, website in which it contained Objection, that video. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. He's about to describe what's what comes from the Dropbox website, and that's... So far, he just said he's... Was a link from the Dropbox. We'll see the next question. Go ahead, next question. So you received a link. What was in that link? In that link was the video of Johnny Depp smashing the cabinets. Wow. And you received this video in your inbox, correct? I did. What did you do once you received that video? Um, the, we downloaded it. We, we alerted the web editor who was sitting next to me at the time. Um, we downloaded it and then were instructed by the uh, news producer to do what we call slap um, bumpers and a bug on it, which is putting the dun 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 at the beginning end and then uh, putting a uh, translucent watermark over it, which indicates copyright ownership. So they knew that it was After only being that, provided to them posted? exclusively. It was posted, yes. Where was it posted? It was posted to TMZ.com. Did you do anything else related to Amber Heard on August 12, 2016? Um, yes, I received a tip that Amber Heard would be arriving at LAX, and so I dispatched camera people to uh, film that exit, or her, um, her arrival to LAX, rather. Wow. Why did you do that? Um, I was instructed to. Oof. By who? How long does it take to post a story after media has been received by TMZ? After media has been received, um, it could take any length of time depending on who owns the copyright. How does TMZ obtain copyright over images and videos? Um, the only way to obtain copyright over media would be if we shot it ourselves, if it was sent to the tip line, source verified that it was from source? the original copyright owner. Verified. And then either purchased from that person or oh. given to us. And then the third option would be if it was directly given to us by the copyright holder, like a direct source. Holy shit. And how long does it take to copyright something TMC has received through the tip line? Oh my God. Uh, it can take a while because you have to extensively verify that that person owns the copyright. And then possibly, it, it depends also if they, you can even get in contact with the person because they might not be super responsive immediately um, via phone or email wow. that they provided. And then potentially you'd have to enter a negotiation with our clips and clearances department to oh uh, figure God. out the cost of 
at media. How long does it take for TMZ to obtain a copyright or something received directly from a source? Something in the realm of 15 minutes just to do what I described before, which is putting bumpers and a bug on something and write the article and post it. It's pretty fast. How much oh, time had man. passed from the time you received the kitchen cabinet video so he got to the it time it was posted on TMZ? About 15 minutes. Oh! Did any other tabloids other than TMZ <laughs> post this video? Objection no, they didn't. Leading and calls for hearsay. What? Did any other tabloids? Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Elaine, you know better. No, they did not. And why not? Um, because it was a TMZ exclusive. Exclusive. And what does that mean? Yo. It means the TMZ owns the copyright to it. So it can't be distributed by any other media source without backlinking to TMZ. And they wouldn't be able to upload that media without oh uh, getting God. a copyright strike. Have you seen the kitchen cabinet video that was played in this trial? I have, yes. How does that video that was played in this trial compare to the one you received on August 12, 2016? Um, when I had clicked the direct link that we'd received and watched the video in its entirety, it was much shorter than the video we had received, uh, than the video that's been played in this trial. There was some, a bit at the beginning that was played here in which Ms. Hurd is um, seemingly sort of setting up the camera and getting into position. And then there's a bit at the end where she's getting seemingly in position. snickering and looks at the camera. Snickering! That part was Yo, I not love this guy. In what we received. <laughs> Did TMZ edit the video? No, not even a little. When we receive something and it's edited, there's a clear indicator because there's a, sort of a journalistic practice they use is um, when there's an edit, you do what's called a, like a white flash transition, which covers the entire screen with white to very clearly indicate to everybody there was an edit here for time or whatever, um, just for to make it a little more compelling. But in this case, it was not edited um, as I was staring at the machine that edited it and present for the entirety of receipt to publishing. When was the next time you worked on an assignment related to Amber Heard? Um, it was, well, uh, there was the, the time where we went to the airport. And then the day after that, because um, she had flown in for the deposition, because I, I think the first time didn't work out. And so she was arriving again for the deposition in that same oh um, parking lot adjacent to a, um, she, a law office. She fucking and tipped him off every August time. 13th, 2016? That was August 13th, yeah. <laughs> and what was your assignment on August 13th, 2016? Uh, to dispatch camera people to that parking lot at a Amazing. specific time in order to film Amber Heard arriving for the deposition. How did you know that tip was legitimate? Uh, it came from a news producer. While you worked at TMZ, did you ever receive any communications from Mr. Depp or his camp? I did not. Nothing further on. Cross-examination. Wow. Yes. Uh, so. Amazing. How do you know what video was shown at this trial? Um, I was alerted by a friend that, um, that TMZ was being kind of talked about in this trial. And so I had seen a clip of that. So you watched some of this trial? Correct. Okay. When did you first reach out to counsel for Mr. Depp? Um, I believe that was six days ago. Whatever that date would be, I'd have to do that. All right. And then you received a subpoena, I think, yesterday in care of your attorney, Cindy Hickox, right? Correct. Okay. And Cindy Hickox represents Christy Dombrowski, Kate James, Robin Baum. Objection, and Your Honor. Boyd. Were you aware Calls of that? Calls for speculation. Oh, overruled. Were you aware of that? No. Okay. Now, if you don't have information that's helpful to this case, then you wouldn't be a witness, correct? Objection. I, Calls I for speculation. How would he know? Sustained. I'm, Sustained. Next question. I'm not aware. Right. Okay. You know this. You know this case is being televised, right? I, I am aware that there are cameras. And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame. Objection, it? Your Honor. Argumentative. I, I can ask that question. Oh, ruled. What a bitch. Um, so I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization, and I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. Oh! 
Oh. oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. Thank you. Now, are you aware that Mr. Depp's attorneys Damn. were well aware Belted. of the TRO that was going to be presented <laughs> on could May 27th? Like what? Objection, calls for speculation. Were you aware of that? Lack of foundation. No, overruled if you can answer it. Can you restate the question? Were you aware that Mr. Depp's divorce attorneys were aware that Amber Heard was going in to seek a TRO on May 27th? I don't think I understand the question. I don't think so, no. Okay. It's kind Do of a complicated question. Do you know question. whether Blair Burke, one of Mr. Depp's divorce attorneys, has a very close, had a very close relationship with TMZ at that time? Objection calls for speculation. Overruled. If he knows. Uh, I was not aware of that. Okay. And when you said that you were dispatched twice, once to film Amber for in the parking lot for the deposition, and then it didn't work out, and so you had to do it another time. How did you know it didn't work out? Because TMZ.com posted an article saying as much. Okay. <laughs> no, I, know, I was not dispatched. Do you know the why office. the deposition did not work out? I'd have to reference the article, I forget. So, so do you know... I, I, I didn't write that story. I wasn't involved in the actual you know journalism of that. Do you know which side... Do you know which side would have known or not known whether that deposition was going to work out. What? In other words, the people representing Mr. Depp or the people representing Ms. Hurd? I wouldn't know. Okay. Um, and then the video clip. Um, you don't know who provided that, correct? Correct. Okay. Not testifying to that. I have no further. All right, redirect. She's such an ass. She looked like a real piece of work there, didn't she? Mr. Tremaine, why did you contact me <laughs> in relation to this case? Um, I saw that there was a discrepancy with like the video that was shown here in the video that I know I had received. So I, I had no interest in testifying. It was I had reached out simply to maybe try to help with the timeline of things or or help with the case in any way just by virtue of, of understanding the timeline of the stories that were published and kind of how that can be unclear. Um, but I had no idea I'd be on the stand. Nothing further. Thank you. All right, sir, you're free, free to go. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Wow. Elaine felted. Okay. Amber felted.